Hi everyone, welcome to another um, vlog session with SurishaNider.com. I hope you guys are all well. I'm in the middle of holidays and when I say holidays, my kids are on holiday and I'm still working. Hmm, yeah, not, not one of the best combinations ever, but hopefully I'll get to have a two to three day breather. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Okay, so I have had a lot of questions with regards to acne, pimples, all sorts of zits, how you can zap them. Uh, I must first admit I was one of those lucky ones in in school and high school that had no acne. I was flawless, I was acne free, so I have no idea uh, how and what you're feeling. But my cousins around me, my sister, they all had all of this teenage acne and pre-teenage acne and it was crazy because nobody knew how to you know stop it, how to treat it. Okay so after I started um, my first job, which was at East Coast Radio at the time, um, I, I'd just gotten in there. I got this horrible adult acne, like horrible. And I thought, this is just payback for all the times I used to tease my cousins and my sister and maybe just gloated about having acne-free skin. So I really deserved it, right? So karma, it's a bang. Um, okay, so this is, this is my uh, process and how I went about trying to cure myself. Um, the first thing I did was uh, I, I went the hardcore route and I went to a dermy and I got onto Rakutane because I thought, hey, it's easy, you know, it's, it's going to cure this and it's going to be over. And, you know, funnily enough, Rakutane worked for me. Um, after I, I did an eight month course, which costs like the earth, an arm and a leg. It dried up my nose, my skin, you know, the first, you know, first few months was hell because um, your body was getting used to this Rakutane and all the changes in it. But after the course was over, my skin was flawless. It was glowing. Uh, it was amazing. Now, can you imagine having adult acne um, and, you know, being so conscious of it to suddenly it's all gone. So, you know, Rakuten, I was applauding it. I was in love with it. It was, it was amazing. Um, then after a year, my skin broke out all over again. It was a whole year of glorious acne free skin and then bang back to where I was so imagine my surprise and fury at spending all of this money and ha and going back to square one so then I started to research um, with regards to acne and you know why is it being um, happening to me uh, why does it start how can I solve this naturally okay so if you go in for a consult with your therapist or to a dermy you should look at the zones that you generally break out on because sometimes one area is hormonal, another. So please also look at the area you're breaking out at because there is a, a, an easy cure for that and sometimes it's it's very simple. So just if you get a chance, uh, like try to get your, uh, your face mapped and zoned to see where the breakouts occur and how you can fix it. So it's, if it's pretty much general and everywhere, which it was for me on my forehead, on my cheeks, uh, an odd one on my nose, then... I started to really dig deep and the one thing um, uh, which I found uh, helped was the fact that I changed my diet and I, I always started to look at what is this, the thing that I had most often that was affecting uh, my skin because they say everything you put in your mouth is going to show up on the surface of your skin in different places who knows so this is being a vegetarian at the time and, and still being a vegetarian I was eating a lot of bread like a lot of cheese toast, um, a lot of mac and cheese, um, a lot of stuff that was convenient um, for me uh, living on my own and, and cooking my own meals. So that had to stop. So basically I was having just too much dairy, so much dairy, it was like dairy overload and my body was going to shock saying, we don't know where else to go so we're going to just explode on your face. So that's what was happening with the dairy and a lot of bread. You know, vegetarians, easy way out is to just have the toasted something, a toasted cheese, toasted peanut butter, toasted something. So once I cut down on the bread and the dairy, my skin, you know, started to calm down a bit. But there are a whole lot of stuff um, or factors that I added to the diet, which I didn't have before, and which we've discussed in many episodes before, like the vitamins, um, like the um, antioxidants, like the the spinach, the fruit, all of those things. But one of the other secret things, um, which I was very grateful that my sister, who's a doctor, Dr. Jashira Naidu, mm -hmm, yeah, she came over once and she said, here's like a really quick fix to fixing 
your acne and she also introduced me to this baby yay uh retin-a 0.05 percent and she said to me you know because your skin is a little bit sensitive maybe use it once a week uh, and get it going so that's what i did so retin-a is also a great fix not only does it assist with drying out acne that is active it also assists with um Turnover, skin turnover, exfoliation, exfoliation, and just uh, natural glowing skin. Because your skin ex needs to exfoliate every 28 days, and that's what Retin-A is there for. So please make sure to get a tube of Retin-A. You can't just get it. You've got to visit your dermy or your GP and be very nice to him. Tell him how much you need Retin-A. Um, so there's numerous cures for Retin-A, including the fact that you will look younger. It's like having this facial uh, or an anti-aging treatment all in one little tube. Don't overdo it with Retin-A because people tend to use very high strengths and they also use it like more than um, three to four times a week. Your skin does need a little bit of a break from it. If you have acne and this treatment's right for you as per your dermatologist or GP, then maybe try that. But anyway, those are one of my fun facts. And don't um, discount things like coconut oil, and turmeric masks. Um, I know you're probably thinking, oh, oil on oily skin and oily, zappy, acne skin. Coconut oil on oily skin can be very therapeutic. It will zap out those zits and it's, your skin's also gonna look amazing. So if you have oily skin, don't necessarily think coconut oil is not going to work for you because surprisingly enough, oil helps to cure oil okay so go google all of that stuff it's just you know it's such a wide topic that i could sit here all night boring you to death but i don't want to so guys basically acne starts from the inside it's also stress related take deep breaths don't forget though when you breathe in to breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth and take big breaths because we surface breathe which tends to shorten our lifespan so when you do breathe then just like make the entire use of your lungs expand them you know it, it, it helps and it's great to get a lot of oxygen in there okay I'm digressing we can do that another time anyway take care of yourselves I'll chat to you soon lots of love god bless